here and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new. In today's video, I am going to be doing the challenge in Bloxburg where you work for 15 minutes and whatever money you make in the 15 minutes is your budget for your house. Before I begin, I just wanted to make sure that everyone knows I did not create this challenge. I'm sure it's pretty obvious, but credits to anyone who has done this before me, whoever created it, I'm not really sure, but um, credits to them. Anyways, so right now I have $35,631. I'm a little bit broke, but I was building a new house. Anyways, um, so whatever I make in 15 minutes, I will be subtracting $35,000 from my total. Anyways, I'm going to do a little time lapse of me working for 15 minutes, and I will see you guys when that 15 minutes is up. You know we should work it out Before I'm too invested I should probably ask ya Get all my questions Get to know you better Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you let me down? I know I feel it's something for you The way you look, the way you act And how you move <laughs> It kind of makes me go crazy So you don't let me go when I come real close I don't want to get hurt Cause I'm not ready to give you my heart yet Before I'm too invested I should probably ask you Ask you all my questions Get to know you better Okay guys, I have officially hit the 15 minute mark and I was so insanely close to 30,000, but I'll take it. Also, I never got to say I'm level 34, so I'm not that good of a level, but I mean, I got a decent amount of money, I think. So that means that we have $29,968 to spend on our house. Okay, so I'm going to end my shift and the stopping number is 35,631. Okay, if I'm being honest, I literally have no idea what I'm going to do. I didn't think of it at all, but I don't really want to build for a long time, so I'm just gonna kind of do whatever. Um, let's see. This could be like the bedroom. It could be like a little three by three, cute. And then this can be the little entryway. Here could be like a kitchen area or like the living room area. And then right here can be a bathroom. It looks like a plus, oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know, this isn't looking right. Okay, so maybe we'll put the bathroom like connecting to this a little bit. So like the kitchen or like the living room can be back here and then the living room or the kitchen can be here. I don't know, I literally cannot build for the life of me. So this is just gonna have to be good enough, okay? Um, I'm going to go ahead and place the floors. I don't really think this is gonna be like the best house. It's not really gonna be fancy and fun shapes but it's okay okay roof i definitely want to be careful with the roof because i could definitely spend a lot of money with this 
I think I'm just gonna go for the simple gable roof. I think that will be good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the windows and doors. I'm gonna start with the doors. This isn't technically um, a front door, but it is today. I think I'm gonna go for this factory window. So I'm just gonna add two to the front of the house. And then I'm not gonna add any on that side. We'll add one back here. And the bathroom doesn't need any because it's a bathroom. The kitchen area is not going to need any, so I'll just add two more here. And then maybe a couple here. And then I'm going to build like a little wall right there. Okay, so and I'm going to go for pillars. Obviously going to go with just the plain pillars, nothing too pricey. I'm going to go ahead and paint this. I literally don't know what texture to use. I'm so bad with textures. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go with that. Simple, easy. Okay, I don't really know what I'm going for. I'm just kind of going for like my normal build style, which is like pastels. What else is new? Obviously, I literally only do pastels for every single build, but it's fine. It's all good. And I literally do ghost gray for every single wall in every single build. I just think ghost gray is the perfect color for walls. It just, it goes so well with everything especially my pastels mm -hmm. okay i don't know what to do about this i think if i like go out of build mode oh money cool oh shoot that, that mm, that's gonna ruin it i should not uh, well i don't really have a choice but and then obviously for the floor i'm going to do linen like there is no other choice the bathroom will be something else though okay so right now we're at 61,000, and i have until 35,000 pretty much so i think we're doing pretty good not gonna lie and i'm going to add this here i love doing this like it i think it adds so much and it looks so cute so for the counters i don't know if i want to go for the cheapest one or if i want to do like whatever one i want i think we should go for the second cheapest just so like it's still cute but like oh are you kidding me Anyways, I think we should definitely go for the second cheapest, so it's like still cute, but it's not extremely expensive. And then I'm going to add the stove there, and then the fridge will go here. It's like really compact in here, but this is a tiny home. It's going to be okay. I think this is still going to turn out cute-ish, maybe, hopefully. Oh, I just realized my mic is like completely off, so um, hopefully I sounded like I wasn't in your left ear, but who knows. I do think that we should add some wall trims, even though it will cost me some money. Arguments and scars. I think I'm just gonna go for this simple table. Actually, no, I want it to still be a cute house. Like, just because we're on a budget doesn't mean it has to be ugly. So I'm gonna go for this $280 table that I love and I use in like every build. And believe it or not, I'm going to go for this couch, the cheap one. Okay, so we're down to $53,900. We still have quite a bit to spend. I'm not too worried about it yet. Um, I'm just really hoping that it doesn't get to where I'm worried about it because that would suck. Okay, so I painted the kitchen and the living room. The kitchen definitely needs some more to it though. It's really boring right now. Um, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of detail to it.
Okay, um, sorry, I haven't really been talking a lot. I've just been really focusing, trying to get this done because kind of in a time crunch right now, but I think I'll be able to get it done. Um, but yeah, anyways, we're at 51,000. So far, we're doing pretty good. Um, because I don't really feel like we've done a lot. I mean, we've only done like the kitchen and the living room and a little bit of this doorway. I don't really know what to do for the doorway. Maybe I'll add like another little carpet here. But yeah, I'm not really too sure on what to do for the house just because I feel like it needs to be kind of basic. Um, but I definitely don't want it to be too basic because that's just boring. See, like, I don't know what to do with this area right here. I think I'm just going to leave it blank for now just because I don't know how much money we're going to have. So I want to leave it like that for now. Anyways, I'm going to head to the bedroom and start to get this looking a little bit better. The things that you say Okay, so it's been a minute since I've talked, but right now I am making like the outside area. Um, I just feel like it looked a little boring and I still have leftover money, so I don't think it would be a bad idea to do the outside because it was looking like so bland, so I definitely needed something. Okay guys, I'm officially finished with this house. I actually didn't use my entire budget. I was supposed to end off at 35,631 and I stopped at 37,506, but um, I did also get like a daily reward or something. So I it was like a little bit off anyways. Anyways, so here is the outside of the house. It is pretty boring. I did decide to add some trees because it looked boring and gross outside. Um, just a warning, the inside of the house is really boring, but my building style is boring in general, so, um, don't judge. Anyways, um, so here's, like, the little entryway. We have a little plant, we have a place to put our coats, um, and then we have this little plant holder here, which is so cute. I love that. Um, and our, uh, living room is super planty, so planty that the tree wanted to come in as well. So there's a tree in our living room. And then in here is our kitchen. The kitchen is a little dark and gloomy, but it's okay. <laughs> um, we have a bookshelf, the new plant with the new updates, so that's cute. Um, a little bit boring, but it's okay. And I love this window idea. I do this in like all my houses for some reason, but anyway. Um, and here's the bathroom. I did decide to add in a window because I felt like it was like missing something. So I added in a window and here's the bathroom. Again, really boring, but it's cute, I guess. And here is the bedroom. Very cramped, I will say that, but it's cute still. Um, we have like a mirror and we have a painting, my desk, am I sitting? Oh, I'm actually sitting in the right angle too. Um, a bookshelf and yeah, just duplicates of everything. <laughs> Anyways, this challenge was super fun to film and I don't think I did too bad. I definitely didn't do as good as I wanted to, but I'm kind of in a rush. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to do more Bloxburg challenges. Um, I'm definitely up to it. I don't really like building, but I'm, I'm willing to try. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Bye, my shells.